taking here. Um, today, right now we are talking about a pressing matter. Uh, Scott Flanagan, who people are saying they don't know, he actually don't fall for his traps. He's actually spit my money for stuff like that. That whole thing is. He's actually is a good guy. You just gotta get to know him. He's tried getting jobs like that he can do, like being a like being a cashier. That stuff he can do. He can't work in factories. He can't mow lawns. If maybe if he had a riding mower, he could. But not if he had a push mower. No, I'm so sorry. But well, he actually has a tumor on his pituitary gland. Well, he should be dead. In fact, I don't even think he has long to live. I'm actually still surprised he's alive. I mean, come on, man. He's a lucky bastard. And if you ask me... It doesn't make sense. The only reason he's lied in the past is because he's struggling for money. No job, all he makes is from YouTube and some and Jackson funds him a little because of his tumor. But he has to pay bills, you're forgetting that. And without internet he can't do his job of fixing computers, which still he barely makes money off of. But he makes some. And when he has no money for the month, here's what he does. He goes on YouTube and tries to do stuff. In fact, now he's actually starting to selling shirt sinks to me. I actually helped him with that yesterday. Oh my god, that was not fair. But... Scott is like, well, I guess you can say he's an uncle to me. As I was saying, Scott is like an uncle to me. He actually did help us at one time. And he's actually screwed us over at some times. He's a good guy and he's kind of a bad guy. He's, I mean, what would you do if you were in his predicament? What would you do? Ask yourself that. And think about, is Scott unfair? Is he being a dick? Is he? Ask yourself, what would you do? And then ask yourself. Should I help him? I'm saying it's not up to me if you help him. It's up to you. I'm not saying you should help him, but then again, I'm not saying you shut it. Thing is, he needs this help. And with no way helping, I mean, think about it. What if you need money? Would you help? Would anyone help you if you need money? Thing is, he's living alone, he needs help, and without this, he could potentially be homeless, homeless, and you know what that means? It means he can't do any work, he won't make money, and he'll never be able to get a house, most likely, again. It's like somebody who is in prison, who's innocent.
but it's not up to me if you help. It's up to you. And only you can do a different change, make a difference. And in fact, I've actually, the only reason he's right now starting to help, like getting the bed, is because of me. I've been making him some money from selling shirts. I owe him big time, so I'm doing whatever I can. But, but if I can't help him, I find other ways. Well, guys, that's all I have right now, and I'll see you guys next time.